this new latest laptop diagnostic cards um, it is great for testing dead laptops press the power buttons on the laptop the laptop is not um, showing you know any LED activities or or any kind of display screens uh, it appears to be that but you know um, actually a lot of laptops that you know showing no, no post screens are getting the powers to the motherboards and that work us to install the laptop test card to the Wi-Fi connectors to double check what is the 40 parts 40 hardware on the motherboard okay um, when we have a dead laptop once we press the laptop power button what we need to do is connect the laptop to the external PC monitor and then if we see no screen on the external monitor as well we can install this laptop test card this is the one of the best kind on the market using mini PCI and uh, mini PCIe Express connectors okay and it tests motherboard laptop motherboard chipset CPU processor RAM memory module it has the hard drive controllers interrupt uh, on the motherboards and video cards GPUs and a lot of components on the laptop uh, motherboards okay and next week we will also have some uh, another multifunctional PSU tester to test the laptop AC adapter for uh, no power issue as well now let's get started to learn some features and components on this laptop diagnostic card the six digits displayers on this laptop diagnostic card the top two digits are the BIOS codes and the bottom four digits are the Qiguan factory codes we can call this factory codes this laptop diagnostic card comes with two methods of diagnosis the BIOS codes and the factory codes BIOS code have been invented more than 10 years ago and have been used on all PC diagnostic cards on the market now in addition, in addition to the BIOS code this letter diagnostic card comes with unique factory codes and that allows extra diagnosis methods in the case we find the BIOS code are not clear enough for us we can go for the factory codes and we have two different sets of code lists for our reference on the top left corner of this laptop test card there are two LEDs indicator as well the reset LED and CLK clock LEDs both LEDs help to indicate the multiple basic activities also there are small switch buttons for us to press once we press that we can look back to the previous codes so we, we get more reference as well this laptop diagnostic card comes with different types of connectors for earlier and newer laptops the wider mini PCIe connector is for earlier laptops the smaller mini PCIe Express connector is for the newer laptops so we can just swap the laptops um, Wi-Fi cards with this laptop diagnostic card and then power on the laptop to let this card automatically scan the motherboard for us also we can see there are also nine pins of the connectors here these nine pins are, the, are called the LPC connectors we can also connect a bundle of the LPC cables to the uh, can, and connect this card to the motherboard chipset pins directly some weldings are needed but this method is for advanced users so we probably won't need to use that we just use the Wi-Fi connectors the mini PCI's connections All right, turn over these cards we can see uh, small chips here this chip is small but it is very smart because it is not a BIOS postcode only it is not a BIOS postcard as well it is a you need a dual BIOS post and battery diagnosis methods integrated on these single chips so this card is a very powerful, capable and allows more effective and accurate laptop diagnosis. We get 
digital codes, we get LED codes, we get um, different types of connectors for different types of laptops, and it is a must-have for all laptop owners and PC technicians. All right. This is William from PCTestCars.com and PCTestCars.co.uk In this movie I'm going to show you how to use the laptop test car testing uh, a laptop that is not showing any post screen um, now, now let's swap the laptop test car mini PC, PCI car out first Here is the laptop mini PCI Wi-Fi card. We take this card out. Install the laptop test card. Okay, the card is secure. Next, we need to power on the laptop. Oh, okay, here is the code. Okay, we can see the codes are changing. The top two digits, top two digits are the BIOS codes. The lower four digits are the factory chip codes, 05DE and the CO. We need to write this, this code down. Also, we need to pay attention on the top left. There's a reset LED and also a CLK crack LEDs. Right now, the CLK crack LEDs is steady on, but reset LED never fresh at all. Okay, reset LED should fresh one or couple times. The once we press the data power buttons, but it is never turns on at all. So this indicates the data motherboard is having the reset circuitry problems. And in order to fix that, we need to repair the mobile chips. Okay, next. We should proceed to interpret, you know, the BIOS code and the factory chip code, and this probably will confirm our problems with the reset secretary.